What's going on YouTube world? It's Cruising Nation 3 coming at you again with another video. Where my dogs at? Har, 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 har. Man, welcome to the dog cage, baby. Before we get started, make sure y'all rattle that cage with a like and a follow, man. Subscribe to your boy page, man, please. I really appreciate it if you like the video, man. That's all I do, drop a little sub for your boy. Let's go, man. The topic of the day is that boy Kevin Wayne Durant and the Brooklyn Nets. They did just offload the, the heartbreak kid, Kyrie Irving, man. They just offloaded my guy, man, off to the Dallas Mavericks for Finney Smith and Spencer Dinwiddie. Spencer did when he comes back home where it all started at in Brooklyn. And I know a lot of people wondering, what is KD gonna do? Should they trade KD? Should KD ask for a trade and all that stuff like that, which the Brooklyn Nets do not intend on trading Kevin Durant. Probably not until the summertime, it depends on how the season ends. But to me, I see this as a big opportunity for Kevin Durant to show the world how great he is. And I don't wanna hear that he don't got no help and I'm, this is not a Kevin Durant hate video because I'm a diehard Kevin Durant fan since Texas. But what I'm saying is I got high expectations for Kevin Durant. And I believe if with those pieces that they're putting around him right now and the length and the defense that they've, they've already been a top 10 defense. With, that's with Kyrie. They had a top 10 defense. Now you add a 6'5 point guard and a 6'7, one of the best wing defenders in the NBA and Finney Smith. I believe your defense gets that much better. I believe your defense get that much better. And we've seen it done before, where you got one superstar and you win on defense. Jimmy Butler come to mind to mind. In the last four years, he done been to two finals. I know you had the bubble final. If Jimmy Butler can do it and took Celtics game seven, a team that Brooklyn got swept by, Jimmy Smith took them seven games without Tyler Hero. No other superstar on the team. And Jimmy Butler, we can all say, is not a superstar, superstar. He's not a Kevin Durant. He's not a LeBron James. He's not a Luka Doncic. He's not a. He's not even. He's not a Steph Curry. He's not a Kyrie Irving. He's not a uh, uh, Jason Tatum. He's none of these guys. But the man, they play good defense. They move the ball around, and they ball out. And that's how Kevin Durant them want to take this season on, man. They got a secret that weapon down there, as Cam Thomas has showed the last two years. He has could not get off the bench, and they've been high in this talent down on the bench he dropped 40 for cam thomas dropped 44 in the last two games back to back do i expect him to stay hot like that no but cam thomas can get you anywhere from 20 to 25 points a game and that's exactly what you're going to need and uh spencer didn't what he can give you 17 to 18 points a game is what he's averaging 40 percent from the three-point line cam thomas 40 percent from the three-point line Finney Smith, 39% from the three-point line. I think Seth Curry, 40% from the three-point line. Kevin Durant, when he was in, I think he was at 38%, 38%, 39 from the three-point line. Joe Harris, a 30-some, uh, Joe Harris, a 30-some percent three-point shooter. And Yuta Watanabe shooting 40-some percent from the three-point line. And then you got snipers around Kevin Durant. You can put Kevin Durant at that point forward when he's been a lot of good effective when he's at the point forward running the point. Now, you don't want to do that all the time. You want to get the ball out of his hands some so you're not putting as much uh, so Katie can get down there on the block and go to work down there and his uh, ISO down there on the block and hit his midi game. So you know that. But when you want to go to it, you put Katie at the point forward and let him cook with all them shooters around there. They got Edmund Sumner, a lightning bolt coming, getting to the rim, man. <laughs> them boy Cam Thomas coming off the bench. Seth Curry, you still got Ben Simmons. And now, Ben Simmons is a total disgrace. He's a total, uh, how do I say it? I don't even know want to say it, the disrespect him. But right now, he's mentally out of the NBA. I don't even know why he's on the team, but they got that bad contract. They cannot offload him. His contract is bad. But we do know this. Since he's been playing with the Nets all year long, he has been the top defender in the NBA. So we can we count on them to do that. But scoring-wise is where he hurts him. I wish Ben Simmons could get around about 12 to 15 points a game with eight or nine assists and nine or 10 rebounds. He is six foot 10 and he showed signs this year. When he puts his head down to attack, you can't keep him from the rim. You can't keep him from the rim. So that's a problem that they're going to have to deal with. But other than that, man, they are great on defense. I believe they've gotten 10 times better on defense because they was 10 with Kyrie Irving, y'all. 10 with Kyrie Irving, Seth Curry in the backcourt. So you know you get two good defenders, a six foot five, and they've gotten bigger at the point guard. Den Whitty is six foot five. Finney Smith is six foot seven. You got uh, KD at six eleven, seven foot. Ben Simmons six ten. Nick Class is six eleven, almost seven foot man. 
they are long team. Now they not big in bulk, but they are long basketball team, man. Long basketball team, man. And I like to pick up and I expect Brooklyn Nets to be fine. If you're a Brooklyn Nets fan, don't worry, don't fret. You will be fine. Brooklyn Nets, we gotta depend on KD. I don't think KD them can get you to the finals with this team. From what I, I haven't seen them together, I know Kyrie gone, but I don't know if they can get you to the finals. But I think they can get to the Eastern Conference Finals. I got Philly coming out of the East. You know what I mean? I got Philly coming out of the East. But I think Brooklyn can make some noise. Brooklyn can match up with anybody in the NBA as long as you got Kevin Durant. And Claxton is coming on as a rising star. He's probably going to be, he's up in the running, I think, for Defensive Player of the Year. Claxton is absolute dog. The Brooklyn Nets switch every single thing. It's something that teams need to be able to do. So Brooklyn can match up now with the Celtics because they're big. You want to match up with Finney, he's six foot seven. Six foot seven guys give Jason Tatum problems. You know what I mean? Jalen Brown, six seven. So now they can match up on the wings. Right there with them, you got Ben Simmons, Finney Smith, KD, Nick Klassen. So when you switch, you'll have bigger guys and bigger bodies. Instead of that switching, you got Kyrie Irving out there. Or you switching, you got Seb Curry out there. And like last year, you switch, you had Goran Dragic out there with that small lineup, and they were just shooting over the top of them. This year, I think, is different. A lot of people are panicking. A lot of people saying the Brooklyn Nets are done. But this is the time for Kevin Wayne Durant to show his greatness. I've seen him do it. I know he can do it. I've seen him do it two years ago when James Harden got hurt and Kyrie Irving got hurt and he took the uh, Milwaukee Bucks to seven. And all he needed was some help around him, some guys to make some tough shots, and they could not do that. I think the team around him now, he got better shooting around him right now than he had before. I think this is a different year, a different team, and they are being counted out because Kyrie Irving is gone. But you can't look at it as a bad thing. We got to look at it as a good thing. Got to focus more around a team game, which KD is not a high usage guy. So KD will move the ball around. Guys will get used to playing with each other. The ball will swing and you will get open shots like Jock Vaughn been talking about and playing good defense. If Jimmy Butler and AI with nobody around them can play defense and get their teams to the finals, there's no reason that seven foot must have can. Kevin Durant, and I'm a big Kevin Durant fan, but I know. I believe in Kevin Durant. If they can stay healthy, KD can make some noise. They they got the trade over with. It's over with. Big shots out to Kyrie Irving, man. You got this out the locker room. Let's move forward with Brooklyn Nets and do what you got to do, man. Kevin Durant and KD, we trust, man. You just got to make, I think they're going to try to make one more move. I hope they do not give up class. And if they give up class, that would be a disaster. I don't think they need to go too all out. If they can find another big that's a little bit girthy, that you can put at the power four position, that can switch out and hit threes, and you can move KD back to the three. Man, oh my God. If you can do that, man, the Brooklyn Nets gonna be fine because Brooklyn Nets small ball lineup is dangerous, y'all. They small ball lineup is gonna be dangerous. It's gonna get buckets. It's gonna score. So man, that's all you gotta do is check them boys out, man. KD gotta get it done. There's no excuse once he comes back healthy. If that team can gel a little bit, fit into their roles and they can do what they got to do and KD lead this team man this team could be scary y'all I'm telling you they can surprise some people I ain't saying they winning no chip but what you want to do is KD need to see that they putting the pieces around him so maybe next year he at the end of his career he's 35 36 years old so maybe next year if they can get somebody else in there they can go far in the playoffs this year Get build on them guys and get some other pieces coming in next year, man. And maybe they can make a run. And KD can try to get his first championship outside of Golden State and OKC. And that'll be a big achievement for Kevin Durant. I know he want that on his resume. That will be good for him. That's the only thing that he is missing. Some people want to see him get a championship outside of Golden State and OKC, man. And what? why not this be the time to show your greatness? To show your greatness. I don't, all this super team jump, man, listen. You don't need a super team. You need some adequate guys and play great defense and move that ball around and hit open shots, man. And when you got somebody like Kevin Durant, LeBron done did it. KD, you great enough to do it. Giannis done did it. So, KD, you got to get it done. Man, y'all tell me what y'all think of this video. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment down in the comment section, man. And I'll check y'all boys out on the next video. Peace.